Okay, welcome to the video. Uh, I guess I have F12 set as another um, hotkey. I'm gonna have to go in and change that. But I thought I'd just cast my uh, my next game, the second game this season. Um, and this time I'm doing it from a replay, just because it means I can perhaps talk a little more instead of losing my concentration and going off uh, and just getting in the Silver League zone, if you know what I mean. But here I am, uh, we're on Heavy Rain, which again, never played on before, uh, and it's a PvP, so that's me in the red. Uh, I've got uh, Russian, maybe Ukrainian, definitely, uh, what is it, Cyrillic Alphabet, I think that's what that is. Cyrillic Alphabet player up here, also Protoss, um, and is a Protoss player, not random or anything like that. Uh, although they have uh, upwards of a hundred levels, uh, hundred eight, I think it was something like that. So they have likely played all of the other races too, which led me to believe, you know, what is the situation there? But here we go. So the first thing to notice is he had this guy in my base, uh, and I saw him uh, leave. And so I went and I followed him, and unfortunately what you'll see is I waste this probe basically for the first five, maybe even ten minutes. He's just watching, he just follows him now, just all the way, and he goes zoo all around the map. Um, but basically, I've forgotten how to do PvP, I've forgotten everything about this game, uh, and so the build you're going to see me do is just classic Wings of Liberty PvP uh, from whenever it was the meta. I don't know exactly. Um, and even then, when I say classic, it's my Silver League version of it. Uh, so here we have me, I'm just going gate, uh, I've got my gas up, although I'm not mining from it, which is stupid, and he should be putting a core down, and I've placed my buildings in such a way that it blocks this entrance off, which annoyingly enough I sort of do to maybe avoid if he does a zealot rush or something because I've scattered around to sort of see but you never know what could be coming and the idea is to create some sort of cul-de-sac but I think that ends up just hurting me more so I'm gonna probably stop doing this uh, and here I put another gas down because this is just how I do it I'll put two dudes on there and then I'm gonna get a robo uh, throw a robo down here this guy, I don't even know what he was doing. I've been up and I've scoured his base a couple of times. Uh, in fact, this is the scout I have in his base. And I saw that he had a forge before Cybercall. And so, there I was just thinking, well, maybe he's just going to cannon off this place and go mass void ray, a la Bronze League Wings of Liberty style. But instead, I don't really know what he ends up, uh, what he ends up doing an interesting build. Now I go losing my scout because I just stopped looking at him. He's getting this together. Oh, and he's also only putting two in. Is that a mistake? No, it definitely looks deliberate, so he's doing a similar thing to me. But, hmm, that's interesting. Because I've got this coming up. You know, build is absolutely terrible. Uh, I'm not saving money to get out of mortal because that's the sort of thing that I was going to do. I was going to try an immortal push until I saw this. Uh, gateway, what's this? Oh, there's his Twilight Council, yeah. He gets blink, basically. He tries to do a blink stalkers uh, and tries to come up into my base here at some point. Uh, and I'm just sort of thinking, well, what am I going to do? You know, I've got like no army. So I decide I'm going to do a warp in. Get a warp prism, throw it up in the corner, see if I can just harass him, maybe attack him from two sides. That's pretty much what my opinion is at the moment. I've got this dude here, my sentry, just in case. Oh, I love that it's actually raining and that you can see the rain landing. That's actually really cool. Yeah. But here we go, so I've got these guys. This uh, warp prism I'm just going to send off to park around the top corner. I've got a probe in here, initially looking for um, 
Uh, what's this called? An expansion. But at the same time, just in case, I can use him for a pylon. Uh, and I think, well, I haven't attacked. I don't know what the guy's doing. Admittedly, I could have probably attacked. And I could have probably just taken the game here. But I just think, well, I'm going to get a bit of an army out and I'm going to expand. But look what I do. I put him to expand and I bring this guy down to throw a pylon down. Which is the stupidest thing ever. Um, I've got an observer out. I'm basically just terrible with my money. Absolutely terrible with my money. And he sends some stalkers down. And I catch them with my observer. Oh, wait, I can see my... Yeah, see, I catch them there. Start following. Uh, and then I send... Well, I initially send him... And he comes in here, and then I try and attack. I don't even get his... Uh, oh, what did I just push? Don't even get his probe. But I... And then I warp in some zealots. And this basically all delays me from getting my expansion out. Ooh, although it looks like he's going to try and expand behind this, which is good for him. Oh yeah, he's got his mothership core, yeah, and he builds a pylon. You know, I can see his pylon. I wonder what he's looking at. Yeah, warping in there. Hilarious. There you go. He's going to make himself an expansion. Yeah. Oh, my expansion actually was before him. And then I think, maybe I'm going to go and attack. And then I see all these other stalkers arrive and the mothership core. I'm not confident. Yes, I have uh, an immortal uh, and a sentry and some zealots, but against Blink, Stalker, Micro, I just don't know. Uh, I honestly have no clue. What do I just do? So, yeah. I just think I'm going to hang back in my base, get my expansion up, um, be supply blocks, uh, and then I was following him over there thinking. Why is he going around there? This is a very, very strange looking map. And then I thought, oh, alright, he's clearly got blink. He's going to try and blink into my base. So, send my army there. I should hopefully send probes off to start mining. But yeah, because look at what does he see? Absolutely nothing. Oh, that's it. Yeah, he's like, why are these zealots in my base? Because I uh, set my warp prism in to try and distract him. And this basically delays him long enough, but I mean, look at him, he's staying here. There you go, and he's going to try and blink up in here. But I'm just, yeah, I lost one immortal, that was bad of me, but it's just bad. And he's done a really bad blink. Uh, so yeah, he got out of there with three stalkers. And I'm in here just harassing the crap out of his base. Uh, and what's he can do? Send those stalkers back. So, got well, some army there. Wait, actually, is that just all my army? Where's my immortal gone? Where are my units at? Oh, my immortal's in there, okay. Uh, but here I am, I'm trying to take down his... Uh, what's that called? Cyber X called... I'll sacrifice my zealots. No more stalkers for him. Uh, and I just sort of think, right, I'll just go get out of there. He's got too many stalkers. Sacrifice him, unfortunately. Uh, but I've got this guy here. I know he has an expansion. Or do I? Oh no, I don't know that yet. Alright, but this is where I figure it out. I see the blue appear. Uh, but I'm getting my gases up. There you go. Big pro transfer. So basically, that was just ridiculous. That was quite silly of me. Uh, and then I've let my minerals get so high, I'm just building all these buildings with my terrible macro. Getting out another um, immortal. 
Uh, just sort of popping my things down at the front there, and I'm going to send this uh, warp prism off to the other side to harass, just in case. Uh, but that's just it. I mean, I feel I did some decent damage. God, look at that, he's just not even replacing his gas. Where's his cyber core? He hasn't even replaced his cyber core. What is up with that? Ah, oh, has he got the same diesels as me? Oh yeah, look at that. I might have to change mine then if he's got that. I want to try and use this new, uh, this new portrait system where you have the little, ah, uh, little swivelly bit. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called. But I think I'm getting my third down. What's the point in just staying low? I've got an army, it's alright, I'm sending these off to kill that. I just think I can sort of sit back a little bit and hopefully get my base out while I start pumping out Colossi and um, upgrades. And I'll get a Mothership Core. Mothership Core is something I just do not use very much. Wait, ah, oh, so he has ground weapons already. That's interesting. And he's getting shields? Huh. Not so sure about that. But then I'm only in Silver League. But this is it. I'm just sort of quietly amassing an army. Uh, getting hideously supply blocked a whole bunch of the times. Oh my goodness, I've got like double the supply. What is he doing this whole time? Oh, I just paused it by accident. Just trying to figure out how to get the production tab up. Oh, D is production tab. U is units, isn't it? Yeah. He just hasn't replaced any of his uh, any of his harvesters. D is production. Oh man, he should be doing that. My 1-1 one one is about to finish. And my thermal lance. Uh, and I'm fairly sure I go straight from 1-1. One one, I then start hitting my 2-2 two two pretty much immediately. Um, oh, there I go. Th there you go, 2-2. Two two. I'm throwing some more. Oh, he's getting some probes too. God, I've got such, such a... F small amount of probes. Wait, what's happening? Oh yeah, he comes in and attacks me. Uh, attacks my natural. Does he even know? No, he doesn't know I have a... doesn't know I have a base there, third. So he probably thinks he's doing amazing. Uh, but here I go. Um, I don't know what he's doing with that move command. That was terrible. But I kill half his army and his mothership core. Uh, but then, just to sort of annoy him, I throw in uh, a pylon and some zealots. I should have got zealot charge, really. But look what's happening. I'm just thinking, screw it, I'm coming up to attack again. Rebuilding my nexus. Uh, I've still got these base... I don't have 30 probes, that's disgusting. Uh, so he sends his army there to take out my pylon. Good for him. Uh, I've got my warp prism here, and I'm just thinking, well, screw it. Uh, I've got my mothership core on a different one. Uh, throw down a time warp here. Throw down the guardian shield. I could have probably knocked up a couple of guardian shields. Micro my colossi away. Bang. GG. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, you know, hugely proud of this. Uh, it was a decent little game, uh, especially at my level. But really, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. He was getting, uh. Looks like he was trying to get voids up. He should have tried getting his economy back together and getting a third up. That's basically how I won, is I just out macroed him. Uh. I liked his initial strategy. I mean, the blink stalkers into my base would have been good if he'd pulled it off earlier. But me relying on old school Protoss, um, you know, I just sort of out macroed him basically, got up to three bases and 
kicked him. But that's about the long and short of this game, you know. Terrible, I'm sure a lot of you are watching it. Well, I think the other one has about three views, so it's probably only like it's probably just Dave watching. Dave and who knows, uh who got a notification about this on YouTube and are just watching it thinking, Ooh, if we ever have a tournament again, I'll win. As in they all win. Alright. But peace out and I'll talk to you later.